Oh, because you're doing multi-class bullshit. Well, no, because I'm going to be using my feats for... Walking? For heavy yes, armor. Thank you, Harrison! Thank you! <laughs> yeah, all right. All right, boiler. I forgot that you were pay playing a sentient boiler. Yeah, I have to do it. Listen, I'm not like other girls. I'm a boiler. <laughs> I'm not like other girls. I'm a fucking skeleton. I'm not like other girls. I literally run on coal. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, do you eat it? Yes! I, I, like yes. a fucking apple? Yes! Well, Did everyone... She <laughs> because she can't ask for wood because, you know, sex joke. <laughs> Did everybody hear the 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 disdain in Jen's voice when she said that multi-classic bullshit? <laughs> 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 Tell me how you really feel, Jen. I, yes, always. <laughs> I mean, it's a Cope, feature. <laughs> Cope Seed Mauled, next level up is Bard. I'm sorry to say, you've just you've just assembled it. You've hurt my feelings one too many times, and now third multi-class in your campaign, Bard. You, you, you know what? You know what? Please do that to your party. Please do that to your party. <laughs> what do you even get with level one bard? Nothing. Uh, Nothing. No, 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 no. <laughs> inspiration. Yeah. Don't you get? But, uh, but Davril already has. Davril already got it. Don't you have a uh, the thing the thingamabooper? Yeah, the, the, you got to be specific about the thing over there. Spell casting, I guess, if you no. want that. You don't get prayer of healing until later. Silvery bards. Oh. oh, yeah. 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 Hold on. Ethan, no, or not, I Ethan already has any, that. I don't need any more bullshit. Yeah, that's why I'm doing it. Yeah. You, you hurt my feelings, and now I just want to annoy you in the game. Yeah. You... Oh, oh, dear hearts. Dear, dear, dear dummies. She's going I to did... murder us. Mm -hmm. hey, hey, hey. All right. So, how about we What's get... after deadly in the calculations? <laughs> Lethal. Yeah, there we go. Guaranteed. Guaranteed uh, TPK. Guaranteed. Uh, so, party. My dear, dear party. What happened last time? Last this time, we did a shopping episode, and then we planned a heist in broad daylight. Um, and Stud and Dillion sneaked off because they're tiny, sneaky fuckers, and the rest of the party took a tour with, like, the oldest fucking human but secret monk badass guy um and then when we almost got to evidence lock out lock up the scroll in bovice's pants like set, got set on fire and a whole bunch of demons uh rect rectos demons jumped out of his pants and my next note is betrayal in all capital letters um <laughs> and uh then we had a fight and Dillion went into the evidence lockup and got the limit configuration, um, and as well as everything that they could shove in the bag of holding, which still needs to be oh, disseminated. Shit. I that. Um, and then we reconvened in a private room, and we were like, well, we still have to be here for 30 days to see if we all die. What should we do in the meantime? And we were like, well, if everybody else wants it, what if we do something with it instead? But none of us were smart enough to solve the limit configuration the last time. The end. The end. Also, right. we, I think we started drinking. Yes, we did start drinking. Um, and Rosita and Dillian made a plan to uh, kill Rakdos. A pact. Did Tony mm. technically have a long rest? No, not yet. Outstanding. But it is, uh, you are all find yourselves in a, uh, another Dr. Lovelace's, uh, Dancing Dragon in the, uh, Precinct 2 area of District 10, right underneath the, uh, new Prov headquarters of the Azoria Senate. Um, right now, it's probably a little bit after two, and you guys want to start day, or did you guys start day drinking now, or, and then kept going until you passed out? Uh, 
I vote for We Day Drink because I think that Dillian would probably be really, really funny drunk. Hmm. And it would be very dangerous for all of you. Uh, Tony's going to make the uh, college attempt at drinking, but Tony doesn't have organs. I am not going to drink because I have a sneaking suspicion that we might have been followed. Just in case. Well, uh, the bartender is going to look at the bone man and go, you know, we got a special way of having you drink. And he gestures to the side and there's a big brass tub filled with alcohol. <laughs> Get to soaking. Uh, listen, buddy. I don't actually want to drink. I just want them to think I'm drunk. All right? I'm going to pay you two gold coins. That's yourself. Oh, okay. 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 He'll take your gold. He'll take your gold. But uh, as the day goes on, uh, Nix, could you give me a perception check since you're making sure you didn't get followed? That's what I heard. Yeah. Perception. I imagine Ooh. Dillian can somehow fit in a martini glass. <laughs> By somehow, you mean absolutely, absolutely. can fit in a martini like glass? Bathing in there. <laughs> bathing in booze. That doesn't sound like a good thing. Fold, um, fold my wings back and up out of the liquid, and I just sit in there. But there's nothing sexy about it. It's just like a tiny cannibal Barbie doll sitting in the middle of like a fancy glass of cocktail. Um, and it, it's just, you know, drowned rat and, and menace. <laughs> that's all that's getting served there. Menace and menace. <laughs> what was the drink dice? Um, oh, what would Dillion order? Dillion lives in the fucking woods with bugs. Bloody Mary. No, I. I think Dillian would be very on brand and would make this poor unfortunate bartender serve them mead, but in a glass that was shallow enough for them to sit in. Mm. So just, you know, honey based, crisscross applesauce, pool of mead. <laughs> <laughs> Here we get it. There's a guy she has to do. Jacuzzi of, uh, in your uh, mead jacuzzi. Yes, um, in my mead jacuzzi. <laughs> give me a con give me a constitution saving throw because you're drinking a lot. Uh, everybody else is drinking. Just give me a con save. Uh, Nix, with your perception check, you <laughs> see nothing, and somebody shoves the drink in your hand, and you instinctively go, "Wait a second. And... <laughs> Who's doing I, this to me? Do I roll the fake drink? Holy shit! Weird. Oh. Check. Fucking shit faced. Wait, Rosita, why'd you roll a dex, dex save? Oh crap, that was a dex save. Nope. Dodge, dodge, dodge the beer. Oh, but then Good shot. another drink comes out of nowhere and she goes, fuck it. Stabs it on the counter and downs the entire thing in one go. Uh, Are you drinking... shotgunning beers, Rosita? Apparently. You For all some drink... reason, I'm still the only one sold. <laughs> Unaffected? You all drink into the night. Who's got the who's got the QB thing? It's in the bag of holding. It's in the which bag is of on yeah. my tiny my tiny body in the cup of mead. In the, in cup. the no many cups of mead. <clears throat> that, that one has the box, the little square box, the Rubik's cube. Just making sure. Uh, as you drink into the night, it goes on. You do hear commotion outside. Um, nobody really pays attention to it. And you all get your long rest. So, you all can hit your long rest button. But, while this is happening... Oh, no. Stud! What you doing? Hmm. Oh, no. Hello, good night! Uh, stud is, uh, plastered. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, but in the middle of the night, uh... Sud's gonna do his little routine of uh, waking up in the middle of the night, reaches into his pants and starts grabbing a few things, and he stumbles out into the hallway. <laughs> uh, and he's going to visit. Um, 
He's gonna visit. <laughs> He's gonna visit Nyx's room. <laughs> uh, I guess I'll roll a stealth. I don't see you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you see, or as you're sleeping, do you sleep or do you like meditate or something? I even I meditate, okay. but it's more like, um, so, but if there's a bed, I would push that towards the middle, and have like little candles around me until they dim out, and then just like, I fully perfectly standing still. Okay. And then I'm going to, <clears throat> uh. <laughs> I'm gonna take out a uh, a little a little bell, just like a little ding ding ding, and I'm gonna put it in your bag and put um, one platinum piece in there as well, <laughs> and then I tiptoe out of the room, <laughs> and uh, I'm just gonna like do this to everyone else. So I'm gonna put a little. I'm gonna take a little string. I'm gonna put it in, um, I'm gonna like try to sneak into Klein's room and put a little string in his bag and some, like, another platinum piece. <laughs> Go to the next room. Um, a little flask of oil is gonna go into Rosita's bag with a platinum piece. <laughs> and then, uh, I'm also going to for for Dillian. I'm gonna put uh, a bag of ball bearings. <laughs> um, I will say that you would probably have to try and find her because the first thing she w does whenever she goes in a room is find the weirdest place to to sleep. Oh, I was I was saying yeah, um, it's because you're so or small. Like... I'm probably gonna just put it in Rosita's bag for you. <laughs> <laughs> so I like I like just. Right on it uh, for Dillian, and I put it in Rosita's bag. <laughs> okay. And then I'll go yeah. over to uh, Tony's uh, room, and I'll sneak in, and I'll put a hammer in Tony's bag. <laughs> Get a hammer. Uh, everybody's getting a platinum piece. And then I'll sneak into Truxton's room, and uh, I'm going to take out a tinderbox and put the tinderbox in Trux's bag. And then I'll go to uh, Bo Vice's room, and I'm gonna Still put stare. I'm gonna put a water skin full of booze in Bo Vice's bag. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'll go back uh, to my room, and um, I'll grab a few things, and I'm gonna tiptoe out out of the building toward the alleyways again. <clears throat> And check the brick that I had once pulled out in a, in a similar fashion before out of a wall after like knocking around a bit. And reach in and take out a paper, put the brick back, and then disappear into the alleyway. That is gone. Sneaky. You all wake up in the, in the morning, not knowing any of this happened. Uh, uh, you all gather down into the common area of the, this inn. And as you do so and have very basic breakfasts, like a heel of bread, wedge of cheese, and some sausage links, you all notice that you're getting some eyes from everyone else in the tavern. They're kind of watching you. Like, the tavern is eerily silent as they watch you walk over, sit down, and start eating your meal. And can somebody give me a perception check real quick? Sure. Um, 
Oh, may I? I was gonna say, so can I do something after the perception check? Yeah, what's that? I was gonna have Nyx, or um, as we like finish eating, Nyx is gonna probably. Oh, I think I forgot something upstairs. So we are back. And he's gonna walk up to his room, and then what comes down is actually what you guys would recognize as Nyx's Echo, which is a female Shatter Kai, who glances to y'all and just gives y'all a simple nod as she would actually walk outside and start to patrol outside, see if there's anything fishy or like any ambush that's gonna happen. All right, all right. Give me a perception check with advantage then. I'm very hungover <laughs> and very mad about everything. So I rolled a 21. <laughs> but you rolled a 21. Yeah. Fun. Well, uh, Dillian, you're like the first to notice the little crystal screen in the upper corner next to the bar is displaying some sort of uh, dimmer news broadcast. Uh, uh, it just has a man. It's muted right now, so no word, no words are coming out. But in like pictures are popping up on the uh, the upper right screen. But they show new prov. They show the the lockup you guys were at and then there's even like footage if you can call it that of a fight erupting around new prov between demons and the various law mages of the uh the place and then with uh nix's perception check especially with going outside and using his echo to look at stuff you see all the the broadcast crystals around the city are displaying the same broadcast and uh you actually hear it because it's being like uh what's the word i'm looking for for trade well blasted around the city be on the lookout for these one two three four five six seven seven dangerous individuals They have something to do with the recent robbery of new pro of a new prob lockup, and the first image that pops up is an elven man with Nyx's features, except his nose is too large, his eyes are too squinty and pointed, and pressed against the no the too large nose, and his hair is like it's got weird blonde highlights in it, even though it's supposed to be black. And then there's a picture of a, of a very poorly drawn fairy with uh, uh, literal bug eyes and antennae coming out of her head. Then a satyr, uh, but the satyr for some reason has a longer goat-like face and has goat eyes and horns coming out of her forehead. It's all poorly drawn renditions of your characters. Uh, uh, even even the, the skeleton is portrayed as like this weird mix between a kiss and like uh, 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 fuck what's the lead guitarist in kiss I don't remember his name but it's like he's portrayed like that having the, all the leathers and the make makeup and everything but like with a weird Rakdos twist to it and it's bizarre but they do have the names on the wanted posters right wanted for suspicion of robbery from new prov uh for these six individuals fifteen thousand gold wait, wait which one of my names <laughs> uh uh it says antonio i don't know uh, if you have any knowledge of these individuals, please contact your closest Azorius Senate uh, authority as soon as possible. And Klein, your picture's up there as well. Okay. Woo! Woo! Um, as, as, the, as the echo, she's gonna do second glance and make sure there's no ambush already prepping for them then she's gonna walk back inside sit with the others 
put her feet up against the table and says, So what's the plan? I don't think you're supposed to talk. Well... She's still gonna do it, but she's not gonna talk, but she's still gonna sit there and just wait. No, Dillian's just an asshole. Things should be as they are. Don't yeah. change. <laughs> I couldn't tell if that was out of, out of character or not. No, <laughs> no, that, no, that was Dillian being a dick. Oh, okay. <laughs> that was a beast for her. That's okay, she's like, she's, she's, she's gonna ignore you. That's preferable, honestly. Maybe we have... Overstayed our welcome. Here. In Ravnica. Yes. Also... Wouldn't the only person who knew that that was us by our names be Rakdos? I think that we might have been set up twice. Unless you all gave everyone's name when you signed up for the tour. No. We just, at least from what I recall, we just said, hey, we want a tour. And we said, okay, 245 tour right. guide. Here we go. So. Is that supposed to be an imitation of my voice? Mm hmm. <laughs> Would you see the same old man who gave you your, your interview? He's pretending to be just a frail old man again. What are you doing here? Oh, yeah, well, it was kind of easy to follow you guys. You just, when you jumped, uh, I did see the goblin just splat against the ground. And then he got back up like nothing happened. It was pretty impressive, actually. You know, if you want to get away from... Ravnica. There's a place you could go, although it's a little dangerous. There's a, well, there's several places. You, you could try the... You could try the Rebel Belt? Maybe? Though, I don't think the Gruul clans... The Gruul clans really, really like you, and he points to Klein. It's, it's just, you know, survival of the fittest. You know, stronger you are, the, the more people you're in charge of. Klein just gets up and starts walking toward the door. Which Which way? Oh, that's way far to the east. Way far. All right, to the he, east. Just, he just walks out the door. <laughs> oh wait, Sonny, you're like really he like uses his stick to lift you up by the, <laughs> the scruff of your neck. And then... <laughs> and re... You see, you see, you could go there. You could, or you could go to the Undercity, where the Golgari will try to kill you. You know, the whole undead bug people kind of thing. It'd be like a great forge for, you know, if you want to get stronger. Or, or you could go to a dimmer safe house I know of. That one sounds most appealing. You guys are lucky I don't know which way east is. Oh, I mean, that <laughs> might be a good place to go. The Rubble Belt is actually, like, probably the second place closest to nature. If you like destroyed ruins. I love destroyed ruins and nature. And nature. I mean, it's it's not the it's not the conclave up to the north of here. So I don't know. Is uh, it not this? It's kind of like this. I mean, there's packs of ru or patches of ruins everywhere in the river belt. Where's your little goblin? Or not your goblin friend? Your goblin friend's right there. Where's your little cobalt friend? He does. He does that. Probably still sleeping or hiding somewhere. He's a good hider. All right, all right. Well, you better be worth it. I did pay off everyone in this tavern to not turn you in. 
And those that I didn't pay off, I beat the fuck out of. <laughs> snitches get stitches. Even though I'm technically a cop. Why are you helping us? Well, I know adventurers when I see them. And you guys look like you were a little bit over your head when you, when, what's his name's pants caught in fire. And the whole demons came out. Oh yeah, handled yourselves pretty well. Another reason, you all from the, uh, the Radiant Citadel, aren't you? I gave that out. I mean, that Ruby is still there, it hasn't moved, and I'm pr pretty sure you guys aren't, like, in the registry, the uh, civilian registry for Ravnica right now. We're really good at, you know, keeping track of who's who in Ravnica. So, plus the the fish out of water look whenever you see a building over three stories <clears throat> anyway I, if you guys want to make it to the, the rubble belt or the undercity I suggest avoiding the main roads cops are going to be everywhere yep. don't want the popo on your pee pee you know what I mean I absolutely do not know what you mean it's shorthand for people. Yeah. I like shorthand. Oh. I agree with Klein. I would like to go to the rubber belt. Rubble belt. All right. That sounds like a good idea. Better than going to the Undercity, really. Uh, Counterpoint. What? Before we go to... Uh a place where people think that murdering each other is like this great counter-civilization argument. We're where in that I place. am, a person is going to think that. Listen, you're wonderful, but shut up. <laughs> uh, you see, you see, uh, you see Tony like not talk to the Barbie doll and the murder goblin and look to the other portions of the party. She Please. likes me better. Yeah. I, I, I hope she likes herself, though. Fuck, at this point, I like the, the cannibal Barbie doll better than you, Bones. <laughs> I'm a very right. person. Alright, alright, well fine then. Let's just go, and when we get eaten by a centaur, or if we're too small to be eaten by a centaur, then we'll say, no, no, Tony. Your personality is that of, I don't know, a boulder. Maybe you should get a better personality. Until then, you know, let's go get eaten. That is it. Well, okay. yeah, yeah, that should do, that should do. Oh, by the way, I forgot to mention, a little intel from your, um, your friends at Rakdos. Riot Week just got worse. Oh, boy. Yes. And we're yeah. missing it! <laughs> Well, that's kind of that You... Are you not... Was... Well, I did uh, my best to interrupt the whole, you know, let's release the pictures of all the people that we know that are involved with the robbery. I did my darndest. Given the worst drawings I've ever seen. Hmm. He's the one who gave the drawings. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, shut our side if he gave the drawings. <laughs> I can't I can't help you out with your shit once you're once you're way out in the rubber belt. So you're on your own when you get there. But uh, uh, I'm gonna keep running interference here and do my darndest to hopefully not get, you know, the most powerful Senate on your uh, uh, not have the Senate, you know, target you. That'd be one less target on you. So there's another thing I found out. Do you, do you know? Did you know the Abzadet was looking for y'all? What? The Abzadet? Uh, the, um, uh, they're, they're the, the ghost people in charge of the religion mm. here in Ravnica. Yes. They're kind of terrible. Yes. Yeah, uh, they're, they're really gunning for you guys. Not like gonna kill you like you know take us alive. 
Yeah, I I don't know why. Something about something about uh, they said something something dark one. I don't know. Well, um, I'm gonna go find our navigator. I'll be right back. I'm gonna go out looking for Stud. Yeah, I'm, I'm first gonna like knock in his room first to see if Stud's in there. Nothing. Nada. Okay, I'm gonna go out looking for Stud now, which probably is not the best idea, but we kind of need him. <laughs> uh, don't, no, don't go outside until I tell you. Well, until like I get someone over here. Hey! He yells at the bartender. Any cops in the area? And the bartender just goes, um, uh, he checks underneath and there's like a glow of light coming from the underneath the counter and he goes, it's a couple down the block, but if you take the back way, you should be good. He's like, all right, you guys are going to take the back way. Avoid the streets. Avoid the main streets. I have no idea how you're going to avoid the streets. Streets. Do they know my face too? Because my brother's upstairs. They recognize his face, not mine. I have no idea. Do you? Aren't you twins? I mean, he has peeled ears. I don't. I have longer hair. He doesn't. Do I mean, they're looking for two Shatterkai, and One I only two. know of two Shatterkai in the city. Which is him and Bobice, right? Are you also a shadow guy? Hold on, I'm getting a call you... from someone. No. She very anyway. clearly is. She smells like chalk dust and sadness. Yeah, she's giving me off a, a vibe of just... Shadow. It's weird. Shadow felt stuff. Anyway, I'm gonna go, you know, do my thing. Counterintelligence and all that shit. Uh, you guys... Don't get caught. Please. That's the plan. All right, I'm gonna walk through the back. Just make sure everyone else feels safer from me walking through the back. Um, and I'm gonna call out, Stud! No answer. Stud! What the fuck is he? Are you calling him like a dog? <laughs> yes. Nothing. Nada. Nobody. Listen, we got more money to steal. We got a place that uh, has a lot more money. We gotta need your help. <laughs> the hell is he? That's gone. Probably, he, he's disappeared somewhere into the various crowds, streets, alleyways, subways, underground recesses of this massive, massive city. I'm gonna walk back in, Bull. Well, uh, either Sud's wanting to hide very well, or he's gone. He kind of knows the back alleys to avoid cops. Well, could I... Do I think that Stud did this of his own volition? Like he just decided, or was he coerced? Give me a... Like an insight check? Yeah, give me an insight check. 18? 18? Stud has disappeared before, but he's usually come back instantly afterwards in the form of shooting somebody in the face with a bow. Or stabbing them in the neck. Uh, he's never disappeared into the night. And this seems like... This seems like... I don't know. Maybe this was his plan all along. Grab some, grab some cash and go. Would... We have noticed, or I have noticed, that everybody's got something weird in their pockets. I did take observant, so my passive perception is 21. Oh shit. Yeah, yeah, you definitely would have noticed uh, uh, 
uh, I guess you start looking through stuff, seeing if Stud either uh, uh, took something of yours or left something. And you find a bag of ball bearings with your name on it in Stud's, hit, Stud's kitch, or chicken scratch of a handwriting. And, and everybody else finds the items, the hammer, the... the what else was there? <laughs> there was the string, the water flask. <laughs> the string? I got a little bell. <laughs> There's a little bell. It's like somebody got a thieves kit or a burglar's kit and just distributed it out or something. <laughs> it's like that's what happened. <laughs> I was expecting him to give me like, here's a magic item, here's a magic item, here's a magic item. Nope, I'm taking all my shit. You guys get useless. <laughs> <laughs> little knickknacks. Little knickknacks. Yeah, each of you have one item from stud. And a platinum. And a platinum. Maybe... And, uh, uh, Dillian, maybe you get, like, a vibe, just... Maybe this is stud saying goodbye? You don't know why you'd leave. Though you think having his face plastered all over those broadcast crystals don't, doesn't help. There is a picture of Stud, and he's got, like, instead of Stud's normal giant fucking eyes, they're tiny and squinty, and his nose is much too large, much like an alligator. And then a cobalt. Like I see no signs of distress in any of this. Mostly because I'm too dumb to see any if there are. Seems like goodbye. Maybe. Did he have a sister in the city? Is that right? You think he did? Didn't he? Did he mention his sister? I would think that might be something that would draw him away. Hmm. People with actual connections to other people tend to like to keep them. So, what's our play then? suppose that probably depends on whether or not we trust Stud to make his own decisions. I mean, he's not the only native to Ravnica in your party. You do still have Mr. Bones or or uh, Tony. Who? I'm kidding. <laughs> Um, well, Tony or Antonio, since our other one no, has no, left. Don't, you, listen, my name is Tony. Don't call me Antonio, especially because it's a wanted name. Don't ever call me that. That's not my name. Don't ever call me by that wanted name ever again. If the right. cops ask, if anybody ask, if your mother asks, I'm Tony. All right, Tony. But I, think I was gonna ask you, could you actually lead this to, what's it called again, Urban Belt? Yeah, you, you wanna go get, you wanna go find the one uh, place where there's no buildings? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I assume Tony knows how a compass works, and he's just gonna go <laughs> east. All right, all right. Uh, Tony uh, has no special connection to the to the those clans, so he's just gonna like from what the old man said, east, and he's just gonna pretend like he knows what he's doing. Uh sorry, I lied to you because I forget how what direction works. It's actually northeast. It's up here. All right, pinged. You have to go all the way up there. Okay. Precinct four. 
wherever is the correct information that Tony had heard, uh, Tony will lead there like he knows where he's going. All right, give me a uh, survival check, and uh, if you're taking the back way, the alleyways, to try to avoid major roads, give me stealth checks, everybody. I would cast pass without a trace. What in the goddamn? (laughs) (laughs) You're able to get to here in this location. When uh, uh, you just pop out of an alleyway into uh, right before a, a series of Boros legionnaires run through and you stop and they just go right by you as they keep marching down the street. And you uh, uh, take a cut through another alleyway and get to about there when y'all see this. Now I've had to reuse a map because I didn't I didn't have time to prep a new one. Trevantes, is that you? A single cop among them. <laughs> oh god, that is Cervantes. Yes, it is I, Cervantes! <laughs> <laughs> You would have joined your party! (laughs) 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 He ran to Ravnica! Oh my god, fuck! (laughs) Oh, um, also, while you're traveling, uh, the items. You have a, a few. Flame tongue scimitars, a few of them. Mm. So like, say three, because I mean like that. And uh, there is also the iron bands of Bilaro, <laughs> eyes of the eagle, a absorbing tattoo. An alchemy jug, six arrows of slaying, and a belt of dwarven kind. I'm just gonna pray that somebody wrote this better than I. I got it. Thank you. I got like four of them. So this is a stuff. Where did we get this stuff? <laughs> this is all the stuff Stole that, that Dillian just shoved into the uh, the bag of holding she has. Mm-hmm. From the like uh, lockup of evidence. Three flame tongue scimitars, iron bands of Bolero, a belt of dwarven kind, six arrows of slaying, and Dillian just puts those in her quiver. <laughs> an alchemy jug, an absorbing tattoo, and eyes of the eagle. Yep. But uh, as you pop into this alleyway and you see a lone soldier in a familiar regalia, he's in black and white uh, that has golden ornaments around the shoulders, a helmet that uh, uh, covers most of his face, 
he sees you all, and then he moves into uh, this alleyway down here. Can I take the flame tongue scimitars? Just two. Yes, I would like one of them, please. I do not have a magical melee weapon. It's all good. Uh, yeah, I just need two. I would also like one. Oh, you also want one? Yeah. Alright, yeah, you can take one then. Or, I'll wait you, and one. Yeah, there's three, right? Or did I hear wrong? Yeah, there's, yeah, there's three. three. Oh, okay. Oh shit, and uh, and uh, Dwarven Thrower. Which is a big ass Warhammer. Line. That one can throw and it comes back. <laughs> it's very, very small in my hands until you take it from me and then it gets Whoop! absolutely ridiculously sized. Neat. There's a belt of dwarven kind, alchemy jug, absorbing tattoo, eyes of the eagle. What does the belt of dwarven kind do? Increases your constitution yeah. and gives you a beard. And yeah, makes you resist on the points. Yeah, you basically get dwarven traits. And you. And you have advantage on Kuris persuasion checks against dwarves. Mm. And you have dark vision. <laughs> okay, let me see what the constitution it gives. Uh, increases by two, maximum of 20. Uh, I will take that. Okie dokie. <laughs> Lady beard. <Thank> um. <laughs> Damn it, I want my skeleton right now to beard. That'd be funny. That would be really funny. I could give that to Bovice when he gets back, because I know he'll use it more than me. Hmm. Bovice already has a beard, though. <laughs> Does it grow more beard on top of your beard? I want that Ex extra beard. I want the alchemy jug. Or, uh, give me that uh, alchemy jug. I have it for... I want it for uh, reasons. Are you... Are you going to fill it with mayonnaise? <clears throat> <laughs> That's a thing that you can fill it with. <laughs> she knew. She knew. I looked at it and I was like, I beeline. I was like, two gallons of mayonnaise, you say? <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah, that's why. Listen, don't, don't, uh, don't question me. I, I, I got a lot of uh, important skeleton things to do with uh, uh, not mayonnaise, I assure you. It's uh, the, the vinegar. Vinegar. Yeah. All right. So, about the guard, if we're already. Um, what does the absorbing tattoo do? Uh, you can, like, have resistance to a specific type of damage, and I think use reaction to, like, uh, regain hit points from taking that. Mm. I haven't chosen the, uh, the damage type yet. Yeah, you only use it once a day, though, then. <gasps> um, you just hear, uh, you, you hear Tony just whisper under his breath, mayonnaise. <laughs> mayonnaise. <laughs> Are you using the alchemy jug to fill it full of mayonnaise? Are you filling the alchemy jug full of mayonnaise? Yes. Alright, yes. you have two gallons of mayonnaise now. <laughs> I'm waiting to use this. I have to uncork it, then I can use it. Yeah! <laughs> it's like grease, but just mayonnaise. <laughs> it's just mayonnaise. Uh, the absorbing tattoo is resistant to thunder. Hmm. Orange? Orange? There's also Eyes of the Eagle, which gives you advantage on perception checks, which rely on sight. Mm. 
No one wants it? Do you want to just... I... I think Dillian's most skilled with Persona. Yeah. I think it makes the most sense. It just means I have to get rid of something because my attunement slots are full. And I want to decide if I want. I want, still want to be strong. I think I do want to be strong. You could just uh, hold on to the goggles until you either need them or you could sell them to... Maybe Hutch wants them. But I would have advantage on my plus nine to perception. <laughs> Fuck off. All right. All right. <laughs> Oh my god. So. Yeah. If nobody else wants this flame tongue scimitar, I will give it to Nyx. Sweet. Thank you. What else is there? Uh, there's also there's the absorbing tattoo and the iron bands of Bolero. Oh, shit, what's that? The Iron Bands of Bolero is a Pokeball. Yeah, that's the, thing that, <laughs> that's the thing that Ezra kept putting people in. Oh. You know what? It's I'll a take Pokeball. that. <laughs> I'll take the tattoo. Okay. Alright. And that was resistant to thunder damage. I need to... Um, Zach, what brand of creature do my arrows slay? What brand? Yes. I'm going to say whatever one you designate as your favorite enemy. Favorite enemy. I have the favorite. F I've used favorite foe. I don't have Fa a favorite enemy. Or favorite foe. Oh, fuck. So you it's just like, foe. I just point and be like, fuck that guy in particular? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't really have an idea for the slang, uh, for the arrows of slang. Okay. I just was like, "Oh, that seems neat." They don't. They are neat. Mm -hmm. All right, items figured out. Mm -hmm. You guys are in an alley, a dark alleyway. When you see a uh, 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 fuck, what are they, what are they called? The fucking religious people who literally bleed people dry. Because they're also run by vampires. Uh, what was that saying? Walk down this way. Over here. And he uh, he spotted us, right? Uh, he looked in your direction. Didn't spot you, but he did look in your direction and then move south. Should I chase him? Should I tackle him? Should I beat That's... him up? Be careful and just keep walking this alley, but be on your Wait. guard. Wait, hold on. Just keep stealthing. Fine. I got an idea. Fine, don't leave. I have an idea. Uh oh. It's gonna make you worse and evil. <laughs> You're gonna make it worse? Uh, what? Uh, so Tony pulls out his uh, guitar hey, thing. Don't tell me it's the mayonnaise. Oh, oh no. <laughs> what are you doing? Puts mayonnaise jar back and <laughs> brings out a guitar. <laughs> no, 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 I'm gonna play you a song. No. Oh. Be evil. Kill them. And when he strums it, uh, you turn invisible. I cast invisible on you. Meow. Oh, no. <laughs> oh shit, where'd he go? <laughs> oh, no. You hear him making race car sounds running away into the distance. Oh. Uh -oh. You're not. She's <laughs> there. Like, here he is, <laughs> like, he's the <laughs> Tony, what have you done? <laughs> Should have cast intelligence on him. <laughs> I feel a fly. Oh, boy. And my jar man is ready to go. <laughs> you hear the a whistle out of an alleyway. Huh? Is it the alleyway we're going then? Get him, boys! <laughs> <laughs> a series of doors opens up, and first off, Klein, stop moving. <laughs> 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 
Uh, a series of doors open up just all across the alleyway. <laughs> and a bunch of troops in that black and white armor pour oh, out. God. I'm gonna move. And... Boop. And you two oh, are we are surrounded. Right And then, uh, uh, Quentin, your new character, you, what are you, what are you doing? Uh, she and her entourage are gonna step out into the alleyway here, and, uh, they'll be in formation around her in a protective manner. Alright, you heard what happened to the last ones, make sure you take them alive! I noticed that too, yeah. <laughs> it's really, it seems really heavy. The voice seems really familiar. I think yeah. that plot armor is happening. How about we maybe kill that one last? Okay. Yeah, well, she looks like the one who's gonna answer the most questions. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. DM, can I deploy my mayonnaise before the act combat? Because I don't actually want to deploy it during combat because it's a waste of my time. <laughs> <laughs> Can I deploy one? <laughs> Alright. You see a bunch of troops deploy come mayonnaise. out. You deploy mayonnaise. Where are you throwing your deployed mayonnaise? It's only two counts of mayonnaise. <laughs> just right in front of me. Just just right in front of me. If they approach me, they have, they, there's mayonnaise in front of me. I don't know if that does anything, but there's mayonnaise on the ground. Does it just look like you shit mayonnaise? <laughs> you just like, doors... Do you not have a mayonnaise token ready? <laughs> I do not have a mayonnaise token ready, but I do have an area of effect uh, tokens that I could grab. Uh, the mayonnaise have been deployed. Oh my God. I could have used so many other useful liquids, but I saw mayonnaise by two gallons I... per minute. I know. I knew. This There's your mayonnaise. Like, I like this. <sighs> Just, I just, it kind of, it kind of spreads in like a ten foot rate or a five foot radius circle, and it's just there's mayonnaise on the ground before you now. Kind of looks slippery actually. I can't no. believe you got this. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> All right. Anyway, a first stop in combat is Rizita. First thing I'm gonna do is uh, I will cast blur on myself. Uh, oh. I'm sorry to interrupt. Uh, Chuckson was also rolled a 22. I don't think they clicked that token. Oh. Ah. Oh. Uh, oh shit. Oh. Yeah. Uh, wait. Rosita, what's your what's your Dexterity. Oh, Truxton was plus four. four. Truxton, what's your dexterity? Plus two. Plus two? Alright, uh, Rosita will still go first, but Truxton's going right after. Um, no, it's plus four. It's plus four? It's dexterity? Holy yeah. fuck. Rollies. Both of you roll a d20. By Two. one. Okay. Send. And Rezita, you're up. Right. Or, uh... so, yeah, I will cast blur on myself and I will run to the Lord and yeah, get ready to go to work. Uh, let's see, do I need a bonus action to activate this thing? Uh, um, yeah, I'll just light up the new flame talk. Yeah, that'll be good for me. All right, lighting up the new flame tongue, uh, fire emits from your your new sword, and then it is 
Truxton Brainbridge's turn. Sorry, my, my key binds aren't working right now. It's tight. That's a lot of soldiers. Um, mm -hmm. Well, let's start off with something useful and let's see. Uh, real quick, I'm, I'm gonna cast Bless at level one at all the allies nearby me. So uh, the ones that you can see are, let's go with Nyx, Antonio, or Tony, and Dillian. Excellent, yeah, that sounds great. They get, they'll get to do bonus damage. Oh, sweet. <clears throat> Hashtag blessed. Yep. Now, everyone now does bonus damage. All right. Uh, I don't think there's much else I can do unless I want to like go get my ass beat. Which does not sound like a winning strategy. That's uh, like no. <laughs> nope. Uh, if any, if nothing else, that's Truxton's turn. Next is the enemy war priest. Uh, he is going to move up about 15 feet, and uh, he's going to. Gonna throw a guiding bolt at Nyx. Hello. Uh, miss. Fifteen. Uh, a bolt of yellow energy goes right by you. Uh, splashes against the wall behind you. And uh, that is the war priest's turn because he doesn't want to get any closer. Klein, you're still invisible. Uh, invisible Klein. In invisible breath rage. Uh. <laughs> Yeah, Klein's going to uh, realize battle is upon him and uh, get really focused uh, and uh, walk towards the threat that he believes is over here. Uh, when I rage, I can move half my movement speed, just 25 feet. <laughs> so he's going to move over speed. there with this bonus movement speed and then with this regular movement speed, he's going to walk over here. <laughs> And he's invisible. <laughs> he's gonna bonk this man with his new war mace. Bonk. Oh boy. I got you just bonk. Commence. Uh, boop. Add advantage because I'm invisible. Is that a thing? Yeah, yeah, that is a thing. Uh, 23 to hit. 23 hits. Uh, so that's 11 plus, let's see, ba -ba -ba -ba. where is, plus 5 radiant, and then plus 2 rage, plus, plus 5 more from rage and fury of the small, so plus 10. Oh my god. So 21? Uh, yeah. yeah, 21 total. 21 total. Uh, and then you become visible, and the war priest goes, Wow! Where the fuck does Goblin come from? I apologize for starting when you couldn't see me. <laughs> uh, that's... Uh, wait, I, I still have, like, 10 feet of movement. Do I want to... I'll, I'll chill here for now. You also have an extra attack. Oh, you're right! Uh, hit him again! <laughs> Uh, 13? Uh, 13 does not hit. He actually lifts up a shield he's been using and blocks your attack. Next time. Next right, time. Right. Next is the thug's turn. All 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 12 of them. Thugs, huh? Thugs. Uh, the ones in the back, three of them are going to try to shoot Rosita with their heavy crossbows. Um, On, oh, fuck. At disadvantage. At disadvantage, 12. Um, okay, that rolled... I just rolled three 12s in a row. 
and the final one is a 14. All right, all right. Well, these three are going to move up. Uh, one is going to swipe at Dillion for a 21. It's four, four bludgeoning damage, and the other two are going to swipe at Rosita at disadvantage. Now and now. And now uh, the back fo back line of this group over here is four of them are going to shoot at Tony with heavy crossbows. One, oh fuck, two, three, four. Uh, so the first shot was a four, misses. Second shot's a 20 on Tony. Silvery barbs. Silvery barbs, seven. Uh, misses. Third shot is a 17. That is. You take two piercing damage, and the final ah. shot is a ten. A femur. And <laughs> ah, my femur. And then ten this damage. guy is gonna, yeah, ten damage or uh, uh two da uh, yeah, two piercing damage. These two are going to walk up, look at the mess you made on the ground, and go, why? <laughs> And this guy's just gonna hop over this railing here and hit you with his mace. Twenty-one to hit. Yeah. Four bludgeoning damage. And then the newcomer's turn. As she, as this woman comes around the corner with her entourage, you'll see that she has uh, priestly robes on and appears to be the leader of this uh, group of Orzov. And some details you'll notice is a gray fading halo that's barely just holding on uh, with long, uh, sharp black nails. Uh, these gray eyes that look devoid of life and pale skin. And as she turns around with this hair that looks almost wet and black she uh turns to her knights and goes uh and looks behind her stay with me you're gonna have to uh, keep my guard from behind just in case let the rest of the boys handle them and she's going to prepare a spell She's going to prepare Arms of Hadar. If anything moves around her. Anything. If anything moves in her range or out of her range or just moves five feet away. Okay. Okay. Uh, good to know. You are concentrating on that spell. Where's my timer? And, and Tony, it's your turn. Uh, Tony's going to, uh, after getting his femur hit, he's going to pull out his uh, guitar again. And it looks like there's some sort of tube attachment to it. And he uh, kind of lights a little uh, match at the end of it. And it fires a firework down this alleyway. I'm going to fire a smoke firework. Another smoke bomb? Yeah, right, right here. Is this a twenty-foot yeah. radius circle? Yeah. Cool. So right <laughs> here. Yes. Oh my. Yes. Uh, to the back with you. Okay. Okay. Here's a. And then uh, it looks like a canister com comes off the front of his thing and it spins and hits the ground and starts billowing smoke everywhere. Uh, nothing in this area can really see you guys. It's actually a good use of, sm of a smoke screen. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, then. Um, uh, you need my help over there, don't you? The, 
Yes. All right. But <laughs> the, uh, looks at like people near him. Uh, uh, uh. You, you with the, the glasses. Uh, bardic inspiration. Bardic inspiration. D8 at this point. Well. Nice. I need somebody to help me because. I'm gonna try to get away from this man. All right. Uh, opportunity attack on my my ass. He does try and fail. There's like a swipe from the <laughs> the, the smoke as his mace misses completely. Yeah, fuck you. And he runs away. Oh, the mayonnaise trips somebody in the smoke. <laughs> the mayonnaise is in the smoke. <laughs> All right, uh, Nyx, it's your turn. All right, question. Um, I have two what they call flame tongue uh, scimitars. Uh, however, both of them stay. I need to use a bonus action to ignite them. If I just use, can I use the bonus action to ignite them both, or I have to do separate bonus actions to ignite one at a time? Do you have dual wielding yet? I am dual wielding it. Yes. No, do you have dual the wielding feet. yet? The feet. And they're both light weapons, I don't have to. Oh, alright. Well... Sure, one bonus action can ignite both of them. Alright, cool. I don't then, see why not. I'm gonna be holding those two, and then I'll use bonus action to ignite them. Let's see here. Ah, wait, hold up. <laughs> that doesn't seem right. Okay. Oh, that's fine. Um, Alright, so that was my bonus action to do that. And then I will attack this slug twice. Uh, you have disadvantage. He's in the smoke. You're not, and you can barely see him. Yeah, but as in for, towards a blinded creature, I get advantage, so it's be still be a straight roll. He's technically not blinded. He's just obscured by smoke. Uh, so it'll still be at disadvantage? Yeah. Uh, okay. Oh. I guess that doesn't matter, though. Yep, so that's one and two. Uh, that will miss, probably. Uh, no, it hits. Nice. And you just see in the smoke, whoo, somebody ignites, he screams, ah, 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 and starts uh, uh, running out of the smoke to about here before he collapses and dies. Just imagine like, how I ignite them, just like Agni, then I... Has anyone seen Puss in Boots? The new movie yet? No, but I want oh, to. Oh, damn. Yes. So, basically I, I flip the blades and clash them together and they just ignite. They... Just flip the blades and they ignite. And, uh, I guess I'll wait right here. All Please right. Come to me. All right. Dillian, it's your turn. I will drop concentration and pass without a trace, and instead, with my bonus action, cast a Hail of Thorns. Not... No, I'll just... Just do it as the first level. So I'm concentrating on Hail of Thorns instead of um, Pass Without a Trace. I'm gonna fly up. How tall are the buildings next to me? Uh, the buildings go up about. Um, I didn't think about that. Uh, cause... Well, well, of course, you guys would try to climb the buildings. Uh, how about they go up 20 feet? Wonderful. I'm gonna fly up 35 feet. This guy can hit me if he'd like. Uh, that is a 23. That does hit. Seven bludgeoning damage. All right. Um, up, once I'm up there, next hail of thorns, and I'm going to aim at this fellow who's attacking my friend. So that hits. To hit. He needs to make me a deck save and the guy next to him. Let's 
save. Dex. Ah, uh, that's a 13. Okay, they takes a 9 additional piercing damage. As do his friend if they fail. Uh, and then I'm going to gathered swarm for an additional three damage. And I'm going to do that, and then I'm going to fire again if he's still alive. He is still alive. After having butter, or cannibal butterflies swirl underneath his skin, and uh, uh, an arrow explode in a bunch of thorns, and then this second arrow comes out of nowhere and hits him in the top of the head. Wonderful. Does that also explode in a hail of thorns? Oh, uh, only one. Only one. Yeah, I'll, I could double check, but I'm pretty sure it's only the first time you hit. All right. It's the I... next time you hit a creature. Oh. It just says the next time you hit a creature. Before the spell ends. So, I guess it does need to make a deck. So, the next time you hit a creature with a ranged weapon attack before the spell ends, this creature ra creates a the spell creates a rain of thorns that sprouts from your ranged weapon or ammunition. I would say that's good enough. It explodes with each arrow. Okay. Well, in that case, then the other guy needs to make another deck save or take uh, three additional piercing damage. Ah, uh, he fails. Wonderful. He takes three additional piercing damage. All right, all right, and then mm, that's the end of my turn. And then it's the knight's turn. Uh, the knight is going to confirm you. You want us to to step back, ma'am, madam. Hold your station. Yes, 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 madam. And they're uh, going to not move or to do anything. And then it's Rizita's turn. First, I'm first I'm going to turn around and attack for one uh, here. Alright. 22 hits. Seventeen hits. Eleven damage and one more. Is he still up or? Uh, yes, he is still alive. Kind of wishing he wasn't. Hmm. 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 Eleven to hit. An eleven barely hits. Oh shit. These guys don't have a lot of. Uh, you see, their armor consists of only like a. Uh, <laughs> Cambasom, or whatever it's called, like the quilted, padded stuff, and uh, uh, and a uh, a tabard over that. That's kind of just got a, a sunburst and in black and white. And they take fucking twenty damage, and this guy bursts into flames and dies screaming a horrible death. Could it be this one that I was? Uh, I was talking from this. One. Oh. Uh, yes. Then... So then... He took 12... He took 12, uh, Hail of Thorns damage. That one did. Yeah, and then that... This one would have taken the first three attacks and died. Or first two attacks and died. Okay. And then this one would have taken your last attack. Right. So we're gonna sidestep. And then I'm going to... Action surge. So I'm going to cast uh, Thunder Wave. Second level. So I need uh, all these guys to make a Constitution save. Uh, cool. Cool, cool. Con save. That's a nine. 
All right. Uh, what's the damage? 16 thunder damage, and they're pushed back? Yep. All of them. Pushed back 15 feet. Just see this crowd of uh, these, these guys were holding heavy crossbows, uh, loading them up and they're ready to kind of just fire another volley until you came up and <laughs> a thunderous wave comes out of you and pushes these these tumbles, you guys tumbles backwards and then try to kind of pick themselves back up once you fucked them up pretty bad. Anything else, Rosita? Uh, did he get pushed back as well, or is he still alive? Uh, no. Uh, he did not get pushed back. So, Thunderwave has to come out of you, like... Let me grab a square real quick. Oh, did that. Kind of like that. Oh, that's how it comes out. Okay. Or like that, or uh, okay. that, or even like... It could have come out of you like that. Like a weird triangle. Um, okay. It has to... It, yeah, it has to be a, a cube, but uh, it can it has to like touch your token in some way. Mm, okay. All right. Then yeah, um, that's it. All right. And next is Truxton. Okay, my turn. Wow, we are dispatching these gentlemen rather quickly. Yon, are you sweating yet? So your guys are getting fucked. <laughs> uh, is that the, the idea? No. Well, let's close in on... the eastern flank. And... Well, Nick. Uh, how much do I have? 30, you got, right? You got 30. Cool. Uh, well, let's close in on this gentleman, so I guess here? Yeah. All right. Uh, unfortunately, mayonnaise has no property other than to just be mayonnaise, so you, you, <laughs> you see Truxton slip a little bit, but he goes, oh, all right, that was weird. Oh man, <laughs> what is this viscous white liquid? Uh, An alien Ravnica? An alien Ravnica? Why is there two uh, gallons of it? <laughs> uh, <laughs> I mean, there are gi there are giants in the city. Die! Oh. <laughs> uh, but if you want to, if you want to. Whack that guy, you'll do so at disadvantage because the orange, the orange circle is actually no, it's still there because it's there until the <laughs> I end. I'm ready my sword, but before I whack him, I want to remind him that somebody out there loves him and that he doesn't have to do this. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, can you no. also say that to the other, other four guys in the back before they get burned alive? This guy, he's like I. I can't. Why are you telling me this in a fight? <laughs> give me a give me a persuasion check, uh, uh, Truxton. Fifteen. Fifteen's all right. He's like he's hesitant, but still, is you see it through the the smoke and it's like his silhouette. He's still holding a uh, uh, mace in one hand, or in ma a mace in two hands. Because they don't have shields. They did, their AC would be higher. Shields are actually made of paper mache. <laughs> <laughs> the Orzhov Syndicate is poorly funded because everybody at the top, all the ghosts at the top take all the money. Mm-hmm. They aren't even buying snacks with it. Look, look, man, I got I got orders. Take you all in alive, and I I can't I can't go back on 
on my word against the syndicate. I mean, the church. As long as you draw breath, there's always hope. I'm, I'm conflicted. Uh, you want to use your action, Truxton, for anything? Or uh, are you just going to, like, try to convince the soul to save himself? I want him to save himself. All right. All right. So I guess I'll brace my shield? Can I, can I, like, brace? Yeah, help? take a dodge uh, action. You can take the dodge action, which would give everyone attacking you disadvantage. Yes, then I will do that. All right, all right. Uh, for that, I'm going to use this weird shield symbol. And then it is the war priest's turn. Uh, the war priest is going to stare down at the tiny goblin before him, who, strangely calm, holding a warhammer. Uh, he is going to... He is going to just fucking hit you with his maul. He has three attacks. Do it. Uh, oh. 17 to hit? Yeah. You take 10 bludgeoning damage, halved to uh, five. Yes. Well, it's like you're getting a fight that you wanted. A 26 to hit, <laughs> five yeah. more damage. Uh, ooh. And oh. another oh. uh, five more damage, and he's going to pump a smite into that. So uh, six radiant damage. Oh, oh dang! Fifteen. It's that god you want to kill. It's like twenty damage. <laughs> Klein is smiling again. <laughs> Klein is smiling again. <laughs> And then it's Klein's turn, who's probably going to just hit him back. <laughs> yeah! How <laughs> do you know? Yeah. It's a 25 to hit. Yeah, that hits. Uh, so that's 16 plus 1d. Plus 1d6 something. 16 plus 6 plus 8. Because of the rage. So 24 total. Fuck. And that's your first attack. Yeah, that's All my right. first attack. And, uh, yeah, he's gonna, Klein's gonna run back a few feet because he can't hit me anymore. And, uh, I want to try out the, the throwing aspect of my big, <laughs> oh. <laughs> my nice. big hammer. And I'm just I'm gonna throw it at him. It's a 20 to hit. Yeah, that hits. Does 1d6. I mean, 1d8 plus 1d8. There go. Phew, he's reaching you. Ah! <laughs> so 16 more damage. Plus Six, 2, because raging. 16 so more 18, damage. 18 more damage. Plus 2. Uh, he's. How does Klein throw his hand? Is it just like an overhand throw? Does he, um, does he spin around? He, sp like he Mario? spins around. It wait, 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 <laughs> way too much. Nice. <laughs> does it have like a string that he like holds on to? Yeah. Uh, just... <laughs> it spins yeah, it... and clunks this guy in the face, and immediately comes back like fucking Thor's hammer, and you catch it. It it would, but Klein immediately runs in after it. <laughs> Oh, you mean it happened? Right. What is this character? <laughs> that was satisfying. All right, <laughs> it's my turn. All right, and next is the thug's turn. The thugs in the smoke are going to. One is going to move to up here, as as far as he can go. Another one is going to to try to climb out via the roof, and he's gonna get only there. Another one's gonna go, that's a smart idea. Uh, get there, and then. Uh, the thug in front of Truxton, sitting there holding his mace, going, I know, I should probably be at home taking care of my grandma. 
he's he's conflicted, sitting there thinking oh. about you know other people. Uh, however, the thug the thugs in front of Rosita are going to go. Yeah, I'm gonna fuck you up and then hit you. Or twenty three. Oh shit, they're trying. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, they're trying. Fuck <laughs> so Uh, an eighteen. Uh, <laughs> fuck. Okay, yeah, that hits. Uh, I'll give the advantage to do it. Alright, uh, you have Me. six bludgeoning damage from that attack, and then the other ones below you are going to shoot you with heavy crossbows. Okay. Seven. Seventeen? Uh, that's my AC exactly. Oh no, where is off? Uh, oh, six piercing damage. Oh wait, th- are, do you still have blur up? Uh, yeah, I had blur up, uh, unless the first one wouldn't have been. Uh, well, the first one was an 18, and then you silvery barbed, and then it was a 7, so the first one wouldn't have hit. Oh, okay. Uh, the next one would be a 16, that which misses. still wouldn't hit, and then the next, the one after that, where'd my little bars go? Uh, is a 5. That wouldn't hit. And it's just... With your blurred form, you're able to dodge all the this wave of bolts heading your way and this mace. In fact, one of the bolts go in goes into this alley's shoulder and it goes, Ah! Steve, what the fuck? And uh And that's the thug's turn. Oh wait, no, one's gonna try to attack uh uh Nyx. Yeah. <laughs> Four or seven. No. And then it is Joanna's turn. This goblin is impressive. Daryl, go help Alan. He's in trouble. Yeah, yes, ma'am. <laughs> Daryl's gonna be the one up here. Right, <laughs> Daryl's gotta go help still, Alan. <laughs> do you still wanna be holding that spell until? Um, <laughs> no, I'm gonna let that one go because the oper- nothing happens, so it'll fade. Um, However, yes, okay, so I'm going to instruct Daryl to go help Alan, and then once, if Alan or Daryl are to die in the next round, I'm going to be holding Inflict Wounds. That is a touch spell. Yes. (laughs) <laughs> okay. What? Mm-hmm. Just making sure. So you're uh, uh, now concentrating on new, or holding a new spell, mm-hmm. and then uh, Daryl's going to go help Alan. Tony! Okay, uh... uh I was really going to run away, but then then I see my friend over there. A friend. A friend. I see uh, the little goblin boy getting, getting, he's gonna get hurt. And I need him to be a little bit alive so I don't get hurt. I kind of think he likes getting hurt. Yeah, you know, some people are into that, but, but you know, as long as they don't hurt me, they can hurt him all they want, but just mm. not me, not the mm. face. Who's the dominatrix goddess? Levita. Levita. <laughs> Uh, you answered that way too fast. I know why. <laughs> <laughs> you know exactly why. Don't ask. Me. I didn't say it. Question. Want Ash? Yeah, you're wrong world. Um, I'm gonna give him a shit. Damn. Oh, fuck, I didn't know I figured out you actually. Uh, Klein, what do you? What's your health? Um. What do you sound like? That? Like. I told you. More than three fourths. I'm fine. Oh, good. I I hate it so much. So much. I know. I hate it so, so very much. Dillian does think that this version of Klein would probably taste better, though. Rage seasoning makes the meat spicy. <laughs> Alan. Use Alan. Hey. Hey. 
Madness? Crown of Madness? Oh, Jesus! <laughs> uh, pulls out his uh, uh, little guitar, but he starts like, just plucking the cord. Ugh. Has, has like <sighs> nasty uh, spring to it. Oh, right. do you cast Crown of Madness with a ukulele? Because that seems like it would track. <laughs> I made this device uke. <laughs> alright, um, alright. What, what save do I have to make? 14 DC of uh, wisdom. Ah, oh, 15. Divided by one. I'm sorry. Fucking Alan. Do this all day. What? You just... Tried to cast Crown of Madness on me. I am by your ally. That makes you attack the closest thing to you. Alex that is Paul. exactly what I want. <laughs> oh. Paul is right there, or uh, whichever. Daryl? I don't care. You're not people. You're not. People. I, I'm not gonna debate with people. I barely know these people. I don't care. Not people. I think, for the record, I think you're people. <laughs> For the record, I think you're people, and I think that's bad. Thank you, random stranger from in the, in the smoke. Oh, also, that smoke is gone. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, why do, you, why do you say it's gone? How could you? Because it only lasts a turn. Does it? It lasts until the end of your next turn. No, it lasts for one minute. One minute? Yeah. Fuck Just... me. Control you're me. welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Got him. This isn't concentration either. It's a firework. No concentration. I'm here to be annoying as shit. I'm sorry. I'm not doing combat. I'm here to be annoying. <laughs> I can't. I forgot There's about mayonnaise on the floor. Like... <laughs> He's playing a poorly tuned ukulele. He threw mayonnaise on the floor. You tried to make a guy go crazy and attack his friend. Uh, Nick, or anything else? No, no. Nope. Nick, you're up. Right, is this smoke screen still up? Yeah. No. Oh. Uh Alright, time to take care of more of these thugs. I'm gonna hit this guy. The smoke screen the, the pyrotechnics is better than fucking uh fog cloud. Uh you're gonna hit that guy? Alright. Yep. Give me your attacks. That a hit? Now that's yep. a hit. Okay. Um Cool. And then, um, I'm gonna do a bonus action and summon my echo real fast. Five, ten, yeah, put her right there. Ooh. Um, have her move about, or have her also climb up here. And then the other attack is gonna go into him. Alright. Oh my god, that was another 20. Uh, but a, another 19 damage takes him. Uh, bursts into flames, screams. Truxton, you feel a little sad for the guy that just burst into flames right next to you. But the scream, uh, you can now see clearly see the thug in front of you's face. Uh, speak thanks to the fire that has ignited this guy's body. Uh, and he looks absolutely terrified. He's like, I signed up for a lot, but not for this. And then it is anything Wait. else next. And then I'm gonna move closer. Climb up right there. Alright, alright. Uh, Dillian, it is your turn. I am going to... Um, how close to death does this fellow look? Um, he's on death's porch. Mm. Like, not at the door, he's sitting on the outside uh, furniture that he has. Wonderful. Okay. Um, instead, I'm going to shoot this guy in the middle, right here. Okay. I have advantage because of silver bars. Let's see. 17, 17 hits. 13 piercing damage. 
and then they all need to make deck saves. Oh, okay, that's on that one. Dope. So then whoever fails takes nine additional piercing damage. And then the uh, one did the one that I hit die? Yeah, like uh, he was fine until the arrow, uh, he was uh, fine, the arrow hit him in the shoulder, he's like, Hey guys, it's not that bad! And then his shoulder explodes in, uh, thorns and, uh, yeah, his, his, uh, arm kind of fell off. Wonderful. And then I will fire again at this fellow. Okay. But that also gets... Oh wait, there's more. It also gets four gathered storm damage. And he needs to make a deck save. Um, kind of hard to do. <laughs> uh, you see, like right between the eyes, another arrow just pops up. And he goes, uh, and blows down the ground. And then it explodes in a, in a hail of thorns. And uh, the other heavy crossbowman looks at his dead allies and looks up at the fairy, who is somehow exploding heads. If you heads. run now, I won't eat you. Give me an intimidation check. Yeah, because Gillian is very charismatic. <laughs> That's a 14. I did just explode the two people physically closest to him. Uh, he <laughs> drops his heavy crossbow. And then, uh, anything else, Dillian? Movement? Bonus action? I'm going to... Uh, Rosita, how do you look? Because if you look shitty, I would not leave you. No, I'll follow. Okay, great. <laughs> <laughs> she my girl! She was the only one of you weirdos that I trust. I'm gonna fly out here so that I can have a view of whatever the cluster fuckery happening over here is. And that's the end of my turn. Alright. Uh, Daryl or Danny or whatever the fuck his name was, <laughs> he is going to move up to right see about how here. Your masters don't, see how your masters callously disregard you? The one yeah, you yeah that's can't. a good point. Uh, anyway, he's going to make great sword attacks against uh, Klein. 20 to hit. Klein's your favorite. <laughs> Please nine, hit me! <laughs> nine slashing damage halved to five. Or four. For the first attack. Oh god, uh, the second attack's a nat, nat 20. Oh. Yeah, that hits. Uh, uh, 16 slashing damage halved to eight. Mm. And how many times? How many times do you get multi attack? He only gets two. Uh, that is his attacks, and uh, yeah. Now we're back to the top with Rosita. Oh, uh, does this guy look like he wants to still fight? Or... Uh, this guy, uh, the guy behind you, kind of looks like he's in in fight or flight mode. He's looking at his dead allies. He's looking at you. You're in the way of his exit. He might think he's thinking if he could get through you, he could get to the exit. Look, well, my concerns are over there. I'm going to walk slowly. Wait. Do anything, I will kill you. No hesitation. You saw what I did. You saw what she did. I'll make sure she eats you first. Damn, give me an intimidation check. <laughs> Holy <laughs> fuck. We're all intimidating. Oh. I will I'll make apps. sure she eats you first. I will absolutely eat you first. They will absolutely eat you first. <laughs> well, I've seen her do it. Don't, don't do it. Just, just go. Don't, just, it's not worth yeah. it. He's just gonna move, move along and then like tear off the tabard he's wearing. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Get that sorted out. So I'm just gonna walk by. As you as you're walking away, you just hear, "Alan, we're no longer part of the Orzov." <laughs> <laughs> he, he's getting his man, and he is going. 
Hey, hey, Dylan, you got that Pokeball, right? Um, did nobody else take the Pokeball? Mm. Oh, nope. uh, Tony I'm has saying. the Pokeball. Okay. I'm thinking, hey, Tony, we like need people alive. I want to give an order to try to capture them with the Pokeball. Oh, um, I have a Oh, I got a plan. You're going okay, like gonna... to like this. Is it right, better than the mayonnaise some. plan? <laughs> <laughs> You can only critique because it didn't work. But next time, that's it'll literally work. how critique works. It didn't work. Oh. All right, that's it. Pokeball for everybody. <laughs> Pokeball for everybody. <laughs> I... I would just fit in a regular ball. <laughs> I'm so good. Uh, I will. <laughs> uh. I will chromatic orb uh, the guy standing. Uh, chromatic. Chromatic. Okay. I'm gonna toss a chromatic orb. Lady Gaga, chromatic. Mm-hmm. Gonna make this lightning bit. Eighteen hits. All right. Vague Lady Gaga noises come from the chromatic <laughs> orb as it goes by. <laughs> Oh, what a stupid love! <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not one of my favorite albums, I swear. <laughs> it's ball of energy comes out of Rosita as she just... How does it... You got swords in your hands. I imagine you just, like, control your this ball of lightning through the tips of your swords and then do this weird trick and then just fling it over. Exactly. Pretty much, yeah. And uh, uh, it zaps the dude. Looks like it did damage, but he's still up. Hmm. All right, that's funny. All right, that's it for me. All right, uh, Truxton, it is your turn. Still enemies left? Yeah, there's did guys. You? There's there's guys in front of you. You're kind of in the smoke with uh, uh, or in the literal fog of war. <laughs> in the mayonnaise. Mix and the mayonnaise. mayonnaise. You're also in the mayonnaise. <laughs> Never coming out of my boot. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna smell like mayonnaise. For the, it's gonna smell like rotten mayonnaise for the rest of my days. But uh, what would you like to do with this man in front of you? I am going to remind him that somebody loves him and that he should leave while he still has the chance. Give me a persuasion check. Before you get burned alive like a friend there. And with advantage, now that he's set. Now that. Set. <laughs> Is oh, this how you uh, want to die, covered in mayonnaise? Uh, you just see the the kind of like form in front of you. He crouches down. There's a clank of something metal hitting the ground, and you just see him put his arms, his hands up, and uh, uh, looks like he's. He's unarmed. Go in peace. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Go, go in peace. Maybe we're like in pieces. Your... I'm kidding. Go hug your mom. <laughs> all right, all right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go do that. I gotta call my mom first. I mean, I gotta write my mom first. Uh, uh, yeah, you've pretty there's much. Probably do. magic phones, right? Probably magic phones. Yeah, yeah. There's probably magic phones. Something stones. Anything else trucks it. You're still concentrating on bless. Yeah, so I can yeah, so I can give give buffs to my allies. Um, I guess I should probably get closer to Well now that this flank seems to be fairly well neutralized, I think we'll shift left. How far I can go. I can get like here. I Bam. I'm uh, getting rid of the mayonnaise. What what the congratulations got mayonnaise on my boots. Thanks. 
Cody. You did real good. I hope you're cleaning these out. You're cleaning these later, by the way. All right. Uh, anything else, Truxton? Um, I'm out of. Well, I guess I could try, like. Using a pot shot. Uh, actually, no, I can't. I'm all melee. Oops, all melee. <laughs> Most of my D and D characters, except for Arson. Oops, all melee. So in that case, yeah, I I, I think I'm done. I've, uh... All right. I will say you're taking the dodge action again. That would be the excellent. Yes. And now it's the War Priest's turn, and the War Priest isn't looking great. You mean Alan? He, uh, Yeah, Alan. It's Alan's turn. Uh, he is going to look at everything that's going on around him and go, um... Uh, ma'am, permission to... Remember, somebody loves you. Don't have to die here. I love money more than I love my family members. I'm a zealot. Uh... <laughs> He is going to cast uh, a whole lot uh, of good that money's gonna do ya. Healing word on himself. And heal oh we'll whop in seven points. A lot of good that money's gonna do ya. Let I've people seen... keep keep their their, their zealotry. <laughs> can die with some dignity. <laughs> oh shit, I just uh exited out of this guy's sheep. Fucking shit. <laughs> that man or that Skeleton, just threw mayonnaise on the ground. What dignity is there in this? You better watch out before I throw some more mayonnaise on you before you die. <laughs> and then he's going to use his attack to, uh, he's going to, uh, hit Klein once for a 15. There's no. a non zero chance their corpse is going to get desecrated. And then he's going to hit Klein, attempt to hit Klein again for an 11. No. And then I prefer to Klein. think of it as letting nature take its course. And then Klein, it's your turn. Bonk. Uh, sixteen. Sixteen does not hit. If you're hitting the war priest. Yeah. Or yeah, the yeah. knight. Uh, um, war priest. Clank. Um. Bonk. 26. <laughs> that definitely hits. Uh, 15 bludgeoning. Is he dead yet? <laughs> no. Alright. Plus 8 radiance. So 15 plus 8. 23 total? He is oh. barely still alive, but still alive. Hmm. Fury of the small. <laughs> <laughs> Will that do it? How much damage does that 26 have? total? This fucking goblin. <laughs> 26 total. Uh, still alive. Damn. Damn it. <laughs> all right, that's, that's all I got. Uh, that's all you got. All right. Uh, the thugs. Uh, these two... These two are fucking gone. They're 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 just gone. And then this one is going. I gotta call. I gotta call my mom. Mm. And then runs that way. It's screaming. While these three, this one is going to come out of the cloud. Or uh, well, it's going to. They're gonna hit you next. Okay. Fifteen. No. Nineteen. Yes. Eight bludgeoning damage, and then one is going to try to hit your uh, your uh, thing for a six, your echo for a six, and which nope. doesn't hit. And that is their turn. Before I go to Joanna's uh, turn, do you want to use your reaction to use your spell, or do you want to lose the spell? I'm gonna, I'm gonna hold. I'm gonna use the spell. Um, so as she was holding this this uh, casting, uh, the two have now engaged Klein, and 
she looks around the battlefield at the smoke and the dead bodies and turns to the knights next to her and goes, Men, we've been had. You're all disgraces to Obzidot. <laughs> oh my god. Oh no. <laughs> I'm afraid I won't be needing your protection anymore. And she grabs both of their throats. <laughs> Twin spell. Oh, Twin, no. spell. Twin spell inflict wounds at the third level. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> so that one's gonna be on uh, uh, <laughs> on uh, this one here. And then this other one is on the one below. Oh, oh my oh, god. god. <laughs> so, uh... You see this woman reach out, grab them by the throats, and this energy surges from her into them. She completely mummifies the one on, on her left. These just like... Uh, uh, like a raisin. Like a raisin. Yeah, like a raisin. Swirl, or not swirls up, like... Gets <laughs> like sucked, in the mummy. His soul sucks out like a raisin. <laughs> and then he just crumples onto the ground while the other guy it looks like he's aged five years in this second. Uh, but he's still alive, and now it is Joanna's turn. Or is it Joanna? Uh, Johanna, Joanna, however you want to pronounce it. Johanna, Johanna. Uh, so after she hits them both and one crumples, she throws the body to the ground, and uh, she's going to swing her left hand in to grab him in the face and cast Inflict Wounds again. <laughs> Jeez. Oh my god. This one's at the second level. A 16 does not hit. Well, her halo ignites, favored by the gods. No, what does that do? An extra 2d4 to the roll. Five, so it's a 21. Oh, okay, yeah, that is. Grabs him by the face, another 21 damage. Okay, oh I imagine... God. You really don't uh, don't let go of this hand, this guy. You just let the mummified corpse of the other guy drop, and then you slam both your hands on this guy's face, and um, you suck his soul out, and then he crumples to the ground. <sighs> and she turns around. Alan and Daryl. They're just staring at you incredulously. Don't you dare run. And she ends I her turn. You run. Mixed messaging. I think you should stay because I'm hungry. <laughs> alright, alright. Scary lady is scary. Yes. Scary ladies are scary. What the fuck? Women are scary. Got multiple. Okay, I... Freud. <laughs> <laughs> Be afraid. Freud was right all along. They're about to get you. Tony. All right. I don't know what. I don't know what villainry is going on in that backlight over there, but I'm gonna pretend like I didn't see it. <laughs> uh. This guy's pretty not injured, right? Which guy? The knight? I don't know his name. Was it Paul Allen or Daryl? Daryl. Daryl is untouched. He's oh. Crucified. Oh, he's gonna be touched. Uh, wisdom saving throw now. <laughs> wisdom saving throw. I'm, I'm, I'm casting Polymorph. Oh, oh, oh have, my god. You have to touch someone in order to cast Polymorph, don't All you? Alright, fine, I'll touch him. Oh, wait, I see 60 feet right there. Never mind. No, oh, never mind. I'm not touching him. I'm not getting involved. <laughs> I'm not getting involved. I'm like an enabler. That is a nat Ooh. one. What are you turning it into? <gasps> I'm gonna turn him into a turtle. <laughs> um, you should have made him something I could eat in one bite. You can't eat a turtle. Uh, a mouse. This, this snar snail means he's a turtle. <laughs> I mean, I mean I'm gonna try. Turning him into a two-gallon jar of mayonnaise probably would have had some nice roundness to it. <laughs> a sentient jar of mayonnaise. <laughs> How did his friend react to his other friend being turned into a turtle? Horror. I was just like, <laughs> what the fuck did you do? You should run. You, you 
You should really go. I'm gonna pick up the turtle and put it in my bag. <laughs> he only he was only a turtle for an hour. Uh, that's okay. I only need to be a turtle <laughs> okay. for an hour. Walk. You could <gasps> maintain eye contact with this man. You just walk up, pick up the turtle, and put it. It tries to snap at your your hand, but your bone, so it doesn't take it, take any purchase. And you put it in your pocket, and you just. <laughs> Oh this is God. the start of my Pokemon team. <laughs> turtle pocket. Mix. <laughs> no, bardic uh... inspiration. I'm giving it to the oh. goblin. Oh, okay. Fine, I choose you. Kill him. I... <laughs> that's not my bad character with all that's going on. I'm still gonna attack these thugs. Um. All right. So first thing I'm gonna do is unleash incarnation. Cool, cool. Every attack you make, your your echo also makes. Are these also normal attacks now, or is smoke screen gone? Or... Smoke screen is unfortunately still there. It lasts a minute. Uh, okay, so it's still just a manage even though I'm up here. Uh, how big is this 20 foot radius start sphere? Fuck it, I'll just say you're out of it. All right, cool. That's one. one. Two. Who are you attacking? Uh, Nyx is attacking uh, that guy, actually. Is this guy? Right. Yeah, down below. That is a, a dead amount of damage. All right, then she's going to be attacking him. One, All right. and then two. 19, and another 19 to hit, which is another 17 damage. Uh, uh, he's dead. All right, and then the last uh, bonus action to attack will be at the middle guy. So we another two attacks. Uh, I'm gonna roll that d4 on that one. <laughs> Shit. 11 hits, barely. 11 hits, dang. He takes 11 uh, fire damage and your echo. Yep. Does 15 damage, but I don't see the roll. Oh, it's also an 11. Oh, it's also an 11. 15 damage. Uh, he is unfortunately still alive and wishing he wasn't. Mm. So are you also going to retreat now after we just let these two alive, or are you... have you chosen death? Uh, I choose to live, please. Mm, okay. Uh, can I go? Please? Do I, do I need... do I need to show you? You'll tear off the tabard again, just like, I... I, I quit! Joanna, I quit! <laughs> I All think right. we should show mercy. Alright, good move. In that case, uh, we're both gonna move, jump off, hop here. Uh, be right there. Okay. All right. And then, uh, Delian, it's your turn. The only guy who pretty much showing co or uh, uh, any hostility is the war priest. He's screaming about how he's going to live forever in the Abyssidat in a, like a sea of gold and blood. Mm. Zealot uh, is going to be a zealot. Mm. Did this Please hold this. That was a 12. Uh, oh, I fired a thing. Oh, that's enough, though. Is it? Yeah, you got bless. Yeah, that's 16. That's 16? Uh, he lifts his shield and blocks it with uh, a giant wooden tabard. No, what's, I don't know what it's Again. A fucking shield. Again. 16? A 16 still doesn't hit, but you got bless. Uh, bless. 20. 20 does hit. <laughs> you you rolled two fours at once. And then, uh, how much damage is that? Uh... 13? It, 13 damage on that. But it wait, is... there's more. <laughs> but wait, there's more. There's an additional one Hail of Thorns damage if they... Um... Fail their deck save. There's uh, an, another Gathered Swarm damage. <laughs> I'll make him my favorite foe. I'm very done, done with this and very hungry. <laughs> <laughs> 
stop, he's already dead. <laughs> <laughs> you just see Wonderful. him raise his shield, block that first arrow, and he goes, Ha, I can't, and then another arrow comes out of nowhere, hits him right in the mouth, and then the, the everything comes out of his mouth. Just the, the butterflies and all this stuff, and he goes, oh. I imagine just a flood of butterflies comes out, covers his corpse in, like, all these butterflies, and then it comes out as bone. And I would like to use my movement and drop like a rock, and my I would like to attempt to eat the turtle that Tony has put in his pocket. <laughs> what the fuck? You're so <laughs> <deep people. laughs> All right, oh, well, God. I was going to say, we're out of combat now. Wonderful. I Joel would like to try and, I'm going to try and eat him. <laughs> I need to catch another Pokemon first. <laughs> Give me... Are we going to polymorph a main character? Because that'd be very funny. Give me a bite roll? A bite roll? Do you, you, you have a bite? Do an unarmed, unarmed, unarmed strike? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I imagine, like, Tony's, like, running around trying to, like, keep this... Eleven? ...out of his bag. Eleven? I think a turtle has, like, higher AC than that. You just bite into the shell and it goes, ah. Uh. <clears throat> yeah. Crunch. Mm. More Crunk. crunch. Twelve. Oh. Just, <laughs> I'm 12? just following him around. Don't even fuck my Paul Allen! <laughs> <laughs> it's like you're a... 16, you bite into the little paw, and then he turns immediately back into a knight. Oh, wonderful. There's more of you. And uh, he is just going to... Uh, he takes four bite damage. He's just going to go... Um, oh, and he's prone. <laughs> I, uh, Paul Allen, I choose you! <laughs> Don't die! Uh, can I... Those other guys quit. Can I quit? Run away, Paul Allen. I release jo you back to the wild. Joanna, I quit! He picks himself up and he's like, maybe the Boros are fucking conscripting people. Is she gonna, is she gonna bite him? Are Virginia you? Attack? He no. looks pretty. He looks pretty flat, fresh. No. No. Oh, Dillian fuck. was just very sure she might be able to eat that whole turtle at once, and couldn't help herself. Oh, I mean, but what if you digested it inside of you? A turtle well, yes, only has but, one HP. But I have, I have. Fairy magic that makes big things little inside of me. She pooped the shell out. Yeah. <laughs> I've eaten a lot weirder things than that. <laughs> Become the green shell for Mario. Yes. <laughs> well. Quine's just got his warhammer kind of leveled toward you. <laughs> she raises her hands, um, and she begins by saying. <clears throat> now that it's just us, uh, first of all, congratulations, you passed. Unfortunately, yeah. the bad news is um, I never recommend leaving loose ends, and you guys seem to be really good at that. My name is Johanna Corio. I am a ministrant of the Orzov Syndicate and a priest. The Orzov wants you alive. But I want out of Orzov. Now, we can find somewhere a little more suitable for an at-length conversation, but I know you don't trust me. Very quickly, um, I'd like to assure you that I was given orders to take you alive with this platoon, but I may have fudged the results a little bit in your favor. I need the Orzov to believe that I'm either dead or that I've run away. Klein had this really... So you, so you admit to playing the 
these poor people, and you want us to trust you? Look, here's the deal. I am in a very sticky situation that I can't just walk away from. You probably deserve to be in that sticky situation. Oh, you're probably right. Absolutely I am. But, I'm taking a risk doing this. I can help you accomplish what it is, whatever your goals are as it pertains to this um, guild pact. But in return, with your influence as far as the guild pact goes, I'm hoping that some instability can befall the, the, the syndicate and make room for changes here in this city. Fun fact, I don't know if you're aware, I don't know if you guys are native here, but the majority of the factions here are just different flavors of corruption. No one here is... There is no such thing as good in this city. I think that it's time for that to change. Do you agree? You just led how many men to their deaths? Those weren't and men. you claim to be a herald of good. Those were people with families. Fuck them. And people who <laughs> love them. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, you can tell she's a priestess of the Orzov with that kind of language. <laughs> yeah. Those uh, aren't good yeah. men that you killed and let run away. Those are thieves, rapists, murderers. Still people. Naive. Are we all? Uh, no, as much as I would matters. like to sustain the morality of Maybe whether not or not to kill them. Well, tell me this. Uh, why, why was Orzov specifically going to tell us that? I don't know the intentions of the Obsidant. I only receive orders. In the clergy, we don't ask questions. We just do, we just abide by the will of our superiors. Maybe you can give me some insight into why. What's so special about you that you're on the dimmer broadcast? Why do you? Why are you interested in the guild pact? Eh, nothing special about us. Hmm. Is. <laughs> Do I think this lady is on the up and up? I mean, regardless, I'd say we should tie her, tie her up and just continue going where our destination is. Uh, give me, give me an insight check. This is a ten. I'm... You on? Are you lying? Or are you not? From what you can tell, looking at her, I mean, she, she's dead serious. I have no idea what the fuck the Obsidot wants with you. Dillian is slightly distracted by watching Klein go from his raging state to his natural state. They, they very hard time suppressing a shudder as that happens. <laughs> if I had to come up with an idea, if you're asking me if I have any clue as to why they want you, I suspect it has something to do with the balance of power between the factions. As it stands, none have hold over the others. They're all in fairly equal footing. Now it's a battle of factions vying for control, now that an opportunity has come thanks to you guys, I think. Mm. Now the last thing I want is the Boros Legion to take control, or the Orzov to take control. Things are shitty now, but at the very least, it's all under... Nobody has the power to overstep their boundaries. Okay, alright. Personally, I would still think we should tie you up just in case, until we actually fully trust you, but I... Th to the rest of us, I think we should keep going to our destination. Yeah. What is that destination? It, it, 
That's what you know. I don't think we should tell it. Yes. yes. East. She's gonna follow us anyway. She figure out all of it. If you up to something, she's gonna eat you. I guarantee that. Oh. Oh yeah. Uh, we'll do something pro proper. If we actually do something to back step us, we'll properly season you and feed you. True fairy. I have a mayonnaise jar. There you go. Please do not put. Please do not put mayonnaise on anything I ever eat. Okay, what is As your a... uh, flavored condiment? I... Blood. Blood. <laughs> uh, best I can do is uh, beer. It's a close going. second. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> uh, as a sign of goodwill, perhaps to at least take our first step toward trusting each other, Take me wherever you want to take me, and I'll let you ask any questions you want to ask. Okay. Do you like yeah. hot dogs? Do you want to do this here in the alleyway? <laughs> I just walk. Yeah. All right. I was about to ask you, Claire, if you wanted to watch over her, but after hearing that question, I think it's probably better if I watch over her. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep walking. Yeah, also, I, I don't need to. As soon as Rosita was like, nah, she's gonna do it anyway, I'd be like, okay. You all exit the alleyway and you keep going. Uh, Dillian, you yes. stay there for a couple seconds. And a chill goes down your spine. You just hear, I mean, this is all because of your passive perception. You just hear the words, traitor. Mm. Over a wispy voice, you turn around and you see. Like a spectral figure vanish and vanish across the horizon. Hmm. I didn't hear anything. Donnie, lead us, please. Uh, Tony proceeds to lead uh, in the direction, not really knowing where he's going, but uh, leading like he does. I would tell Rosita what I observed, but I would tell her in Sylvan so nobody else understands me. <laughs> <laughs> I'll say, Jenna's great. Can we see to give me a, an Arcana check from what? Let's see, Arcana. Right. Ooh, Dang, natural good. Turn. Okay, from what you, from what she described, the the voice, the wispy, the the voice, the wispy look, uh, 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 everything. That's a banshee. <laughs> All right, let's so, speed up. Let's let's speed this up, guys. Tony, hurry up. Go faster. Come on. Tony uh, Tony walks the faster with his uh, does Tony wear shoes? Sure why not. <laughs> sure why not. Tony, give me a survival check. Um as you try to navigate your way through the city, at least through the back alleys, avoiding the long roads. Good. And you plop yourself right <laughs> about yeah. here. Eh, I don't see anything. I mean, I move very far. <laughs> oh, there we go. Like a large building right here. Uh, not on a main road, but you do see a big ass structure sticking out of, out of the uh, main thoroughfare. Hmm. Of just um, what precinct is that? <laughs> I'm a guess one. <laughs> yes. <laughs> One? The building that's good closest to us. I, I will, by the way, tell Dillian that we are maybe followed by a banshee. Oh, I think it has to do with her. Yeah, I mean, it's after her. I don't really know what it was. But, uh, mm. I, I still would rather not encounter that. Honey, where do you go from here? Um... Tony sticks his uh, uh, finger into his fucking skull, does like a motion as if he was licking, and then just like does uh, that and starts. As licking. as he does that, I will take that as a, mo a moment to fly upwards and actually look as a person who might know how to survive someplace. <laughs> All right, uh, yeah, give me a survival check, uh, Dillion. And I guess uh, uh, oh. you get advantage because. Oh, thank God. Because it's not much better. Fourteen. 
14. You fly up, you look around, you know you're looking for a place called the Rubble Belt, and you see far to the north, there's just a bunch of destroyed, destroyed ruined buildings uh, that kind of like climb into a mountain and then go into a, a wide forested hillside, and then you just see more ruins in the forest. And you go, that might be a good, a good idea. And then you see closer than that is a massive fortress uh, that seems to have, a, a, above the fortress is a floating cathedral of some sort, uh, like a giant island that has been, that has had uh, buildings carved out of both sides going like down and up. And things are, th winged creatures are flying between the two fortresses. Uh, you do recognize the Boros Legion insignia on the giant floating thing in front of you, and it looks like you got to go around that or through it. Well, I vote we go around. Around what? And that big fucking thing right there. She points to the floating cathedral and the fortress below it. Oh, that, yeah, that's a, uh, looks like a good idea. Um, Because there's a belt with rubble in it on the other side of that, and that seems like where we're supposed to go. Mm. Any idea how we can get around that without getting lost? Be very, very sneaky. Without getting lost? I know you where I'm going now. now. Oh, okay. Uh... I trust you. Um, if you're willing to lead us, then by all means. Is it wisdom to ask? Fine is th That's not true. Is it wisdom to ask the person who lives here where to go? Or is it intelligence? I'd say it's wisdom. Okay. Well, then I would ask Johanna. Because I'm dumb. But I'm wise. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm dumb. But I'm wise. Yeah. <laughs> Johanna. Yes, Tillian. How do you know her name? I'm kidding. <laughs> it's been broadcast oh, across the city. I yeah. wear a name badge. <laughs> 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 um, what do you think would be the best route around that Boris bullshittery? Because our destination lies on the other side. Johanna, before you, son home. Well, that's a tricky one, but they're, the guard do work in shifts and there's various routes you can take uh, at this time of day. Let me think about it. Uh, and then I guess, do I roll history? Yeah, roll a history check. <laughs> you remember, uh, remember... The fortress, you remember Dad being an asshole, because he always is. Uh, something about zealotry or overjustice or some bullshit. Uh, have you tried taking Tin Street? And that's that's basically just the thought you have. Let's take Tin Street. That may go around it, or may have enough people to go through. There isn't a lot of options. Um, I'm not one of the guards, so I don't know all the posts. Um, the safest bet, perhaps, would be Tin Street, but no guarantee how populated it would be at this time. Uh, what if we went under? Did you just say that in an Australian accent? Don't know why <laughs> I did that. Uh, down under. Uh... Didn't, didn't our, uh, uh, little, the, the, the reptile thing, didn't he, like, uh, like going underground? Mm-hmm. I think so. Where is Would... your reptile thing? 
Oh. Busy. Hey. He died. <laughs> Inside check. Is <laughs> this is much worse at this. <laughs> you can clearly see there in my eyes. It's just that a boy eye contact, but like at the same time, just a little pain that you didn't give a proper goodbye. Maybe, maybe we can go underground. Uh, we just have to deal with Golgari. Might be a good idea. Could be a good idea. Uh, I can cast easy. pass without a trace two more times today. It's easy enough to find a uh, a subway or like just a stairway leading down into the darkness, the dank darkness of the Undercity. You make your way there, uh, and you're able to get underneath the uh, the Sun Home about. That you, I imagine you guys take the subways, uh, or the the sub lightning rails, just short trains that hang by uh, uh, lightning rails. You've seen one. You've been on one. You've fought on one. Uh, no Golgori incursions, though. So you do like pop out of one subway, go through a series of tunnels nearly avoiding a patrol of Azorius Senate people and Boros Legion people, and you're able to get to an area where the tunnels just end, and they open up into just this city of ruin. Uh, though it looks completely and almost utterly destroyed in some forms, and most of the rubble there is just piles of stone it still looks lived in you see tents you see uh uh like camps set up around uh, uh various larger larger structures that look like they couldn't have been destroyed they tried but they they're still there um and you all have now made it to the the rubble belt Precinct 4. Or something better known here in this area as the Red Wastes. Well, if you were trying to take some heat off your backs, this is one way. That was the intention. You guys look back and you see Sun Home right here, this large, big ass fortress with the cathedral above it. The cathedral starts to move towards Precinct 3. And, uh. uh I think that's, that's, that's great, Nick. No, uh, no, well, it moves, it's moving towards the, uh, the Conclave, not towards, you know, anyone you know. Though, maybe if the Boros were busy with someone else, they wouldn't have to look at you guys. But as you all continue towards the Red Wastes, I think that's where I'm going to end the session for today. Mm -hmm. uh, mm. I think the next session will be the last one for this campaign, and then I'm going to shelve it for a while to figure it out. And we'll, we could pick it back up later. Cool. Okay. Okie dokie. Okay. Hmm. All right. Good game. Good game, good game. Yeah, yeah. Good game. Yeah. 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 Quentin doing a switcheroo. Last minute switcheroo. Last <laughs> minute. He came to me last night. He's like, I want to change my character. And I'm like, all right. <laughs> cool. You know, if I had known, As you do. I could have taken proficiency in sleight of hand. <laughs> 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 Who knows where Stud went? I was. I going like my to... lizard. He's a, he's a dragon. A <laughs> dragon's lizards. Mm -hmm. Komodo dragon. Can... Mm. 
You know what? No, I like him now more as like a Pokemon master, actually. <laughs> Who? Tony? Yeah. No, Joseph. I'm assembling <laughs> a Pokemon team. I think dragons might be mammals. What the fuck? <laughs> Dragon milk? <laughs> <laughs> I Dragon mean, titties? What I the mean, fuck? So what the fuck? Dragonborn Why? are a thing, and canonically, they give birth to live young and nurse them, so... I think dragons are mammals. <laughs> dragons are mammals. <laughs> this, oh my god. This, this, this is the discourse today. This is the discourse today. I'd rather go back to, ba to babies or objects. <laughs> Well, I mean, Babies? both can be true. Yeah, both are true. Babies are objects, dragons are mammals. <laughs> God, give me the strength of my mayonnaise jar. <laughs> <laughs> also, I gotta, I gotta share this. This is some bullshit. It said, like, maximum two gallons, but it goes at a rate of two gallons per minute. I could uncork this fucker and I could just, like, all the mayonnaise. <laughs> Endless mayonnaise. <laughs> Odd. Oh god. That's, it, that's, that's, it. that's way too much mayonnaise. <laughs> Why? Two gallons of mayonnaise was already too much. Two gallons a minute? Way too much. <laughs> Every. How many white people does it take to eat two <laughs> gallons of mayonnaise? I'm gonna feed the whole city of Ravnica. Oh. Are you gonna try to flood the city of Ravnica in mayonnaise? <laughs> Christ. Oof. Gross. Oh, that's it. Okay. Oh, can you imagine the stench? <laughs> Oof. Mm. No. The riot week. <laughs> An actual riot week. Mm -mm. Alright, I'm uh, fleeing. I'm fleeing. I, I've left mayonnaise in your mind. Bye. Uh, <laughs> that's my job. No. Why, why you, 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 you did this to all of us. Yeah. Uh, you did this to all of us. I'm gonna go to probably take a shower, so I will see you guys later. Bye. 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 Bye.